Peggy 12. What's up Capcom community? Yuri Dubindo here, bringing you a couple of videos going over the essentials of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, which is out on March 22nd for Wii U and 3DS. If you're new to Monster Hunter, or if you've been looking at it from a distance, there's a lot you may not know at a glance, and this video series is here to help you know what's going on. From making weapons based on the monsters you kill, to exploring multiple ways to kill them, there's a lot of awesome things you can do. There's a reason the Monster Hunter series has sold well over 10 million copies worldwide. So we're giving you a look at the basics of the game and how to get started in your career as a hunter. Monster Hunter is a quest-based game, meaning you make progress by completing quests. It also means there's a central hub, which you'll return to at the end of each quest. And that's also where you'll manage your items, equipment, and all other activities before you go out on a quest. On the single-player side, you have Moga Village, where you get to buy items, forge or upgrade equipment, eat a meal, send out sailors to get you fish, trade for treasures with the traveler from the far east, hire cats to do some farming, hold a pig, and of course, sign up for quests. On the multiplayer side, there's Tanzia Port, where you can do most of these things, but also meet up with other hunters, either online or through local Wi-Fi. Once you finish the first village request from the chief's son, you can start taking on real quests. Just talk to the guild's sweetheart and she'll show you what's available. There are three different types of quests. Number one, gathering quests, where you are tasked to go out in the field, gather some specific items and deliver them to the red box at the base camp. Number two, capture quests, in which you are tasked to capture the target monster alive. To capture a monster, you have to weaken it and then make sure that it falls in one of your traps and tranquilize them with trank bombs, shots or arrows. But remember, do not kill the target monster. If you kill it by accident, you will fail the quest. And number three, hunting quest, which will be the majority of your hunting career. Your goal is to find the target monster and bring it down. This usually means killing it, but most of the time you also have the option of capturing the target monster alive. Eventually, you get to make weapons and armor based on the monsters you hunt. Part of the fun in Monster Hunter is to collect a wide array of equipment and mix matching them to find the best strategies for the next hunt. Just keep in mind that better equipment does not guarantee success. You still have to rely on your skill as a hunter. Now let's talk about items and tools. Some items you'll gather by simply pressing the A button over contextual objects, such as plants and mushrooms, which may give you herbs and blue mushrooms, for example. By the way, you can combine these two and get a healing potion. Other items you can only gather with specific tools. You'll need a bug net to catch bugs, fish bait to catch fish, and pickaxes to mine minerals. Bear in mind that some of these items you may only find in specific areas, so as you explore Moga Woods and other areas, it's good practice to take note on where you can find each item. Now before you set out on a quest, make sure you have the right supplies for the task. Oftentimes you need much more than just your weapon. It's always good to have a full stock of herbs and potions to heal yourself. Barbecue spit to cook some meat or keep your stamina up. And some paintballs to keep track of your targets as they move around the field. Also, keep in mind things like antidotes, which you use to cure yourself from poisoning. Cleansers to clear out ice and mud. Deodorants to clear out stench and slime. And energy drinks to wake yourself up when you're about to fall asleep. And let's not forget cold drinks and hot drinks to level out your body temperature in environments with more extreme conditions. Also be aware of the multitude of elemental effects, such as thunder blight, water blight, etc., which can seriously jeopardize your hunt. A nullberry, however, is an item that can cure you of any of these effects. Finally, remember that if you're using a weapon of the Blade Master class, you should always carry whetstones to keep them sharp. And if you set out as a gunner, make sure you take the appropriate ammo or arrow coatings. Well that's it for the first video. In our second video, we'll go over movement and take a look at each of the 12 weapon types. And make sure to keep an eye on the Monster Hunter blog over at Cap Community as well as our Monster Hunter social media channels below. Thanks for watching.